a red letter church versus a gray space church. What is the difference? The Christian church has Jesus as the foundation. It is built upon the red letters of the Bible, the words that Jesus Christ spoke himself. And built upon his words are the many pillars of scripture revealed through prophets, apostles, kings, priests, etc. The pillar of grace. The pillar of God's righteousness. The pillar of God's judgments. Altogether, these pillars build up the teachings of the church. Now, there are many other pillars not shown here. But in many churches, a problem arises when the red letters of Jesus are removed as the foundation of the church. And instead, the pillar of grace is set as the new foundation. With grace being the new foundation of the church, some pillars fit very nicely on that love and mercy, forgiveness and blessing, peace and joy. But other pillars don't fit so nicely on this foundation. Therefore, those subjects need to be de-emphasized and rarely brought up. while other pillars of scripture don't fit at all on this foundation. Those subjects need to be ignored, disregarded, or just briefly mentioned. Those subjects were from a God of long ago who no longer exists. The sermon topics of the grace-based church are very important topics. These topics need to be thoroughly covered in sermons. But as many people have discovered, it wasn't that those topics were being covered. It was that other topics were just being ignored. The problem is that any time you ignore parts of Scripture, it distorts the image of God. The grace-based church presents the congregation with a path of salvation and a doorway to go through. The problem is that this path presented is wider than the narrow path depicted in Scripture. And this will lead to a rude awakening for some people who feel secure, yet are not on the right path. Jesus taught that the house built on the rock does not fall. Therefore, if we ignore parts of scripture when building the church, then the church becomes less stable because it's missing part of the foundation. Because Jesus is the cornerstone of our faith, his teachings demand greater focus over the teachings of any other. As Jesus even said, my testimony is weightier than John's. But in many churches, we see that the greater focus is given to the teachings of the Apostle Paul over that of Jesus, which Paul even warned us not to do. 
In scripture, we are told to behold the kindness and severity of God. And God is revealed as both a lion and a lamb. But in the teachings of many churches, we see this principle changed to behold the kindness of our God. The lion is de-emphasized and most sermons only reveal God as the lamb. And this causes an imbalance in doctrine. The solution is put back the words of Jesus as the foundation of the church where the teachings of the apostles and prophets are built upon that rock, not ignoring any portions of scripture. This is the church that Jesus built.